Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Zedlow's Kitchen. Today I'm just going to be making some simple scrambled eggs. That's it, a nice good morning breakfast. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. All right, so we have our eggs, we have our salt and pepper. So usually the amount is two eggs per one person. However, I'm just going to do three. So we're going to just do three eggs like so. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to wash my hands real fast. Can have egg yolk on it. We're going to take, you could take a whisk, you could take a fork, you could take, you know, whatever works best for you. I usually use a fork. And we're just going to, we're just going to break up these eggs. Just like this. Now there are several ways where you can make scrambled eggs. Some people say have it on high heat and you know cook it quickly. Some people say cook it low and slow. You know, depending on whatever your method is, do it that way. Mine is always low and slow. I like to create nice fluffy eggs. And So now we're gonna, you can either add milk to this, half and half, uh, heavy cream or water. And each do something a little bit different. So I just added a little bit of water. When I add like milk or half and half to eggs, I find them to be a lot more creamier. When I add heavy cream, the eggs become, when you mix, like when you mix the batter, it becomes more thick. Like, like they it really like, you can see the difference. With water, I find that the eggs become more fluffy, which is very weird, but they become more fluffy, light and, and fluffy. So I add a little bit of water to mine, not that much. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to, I like to add the seasonings here I know people add the seasonings when they're cooking in the pot, when they are just done, you know, it's up to you. But I like to add a little bit of pepper and then just a little bit of salt, like so. And then just give yourself a nice mix. Like that. And then we're ready to cook. Okay, so I'm going to add in about two tablespoons to the pot, like that. And I like to do about between like low and two is usually what I do. I like to cook mine low and slow. So we're just going to let the butter melt in this pan easily effortlessly let it do it let it do its thing in the meantime make sure our eggs are ready to go but that's it you just leave it alone cook it nice and slow i i use a uh a spatula you know to kind of move it around when um the eggs are in there, so, you know, easy to move, easy to, easy to do. So, I'm just going to let this melt. As you can see, it's already melting. And make sure you get the sides as well. Because, you know, when you're mixing the eggs, the eggs will go on the, on the side of the pan. So, make sure you're getting the sides as well. I know it's a silly thing, but trust me, it helps. It helps a lot. Now I know some people like their eggs with a little bit of color. You know, if you want that, you know, that kind of like crispiness to it, that brownness, go for it. Sometimes I cook my eggs like that. Sometimes I don't, it just all depends. It all depends on what you're feeling that day. But we're just cooking it, cooking, letting the butter melt a little before we get everything in the pan. All right, now as you could see, the butter is melted. And you kind of get, get to see those little bubbles too. That means it is ready to go. So simple enough. 
you just take your eggs and dump them in. Just like that. Get every last drop. And now, since we are cooking them low and slow, we just let it go. We just let this go. Let, let this, uh, make, I mix it around a few times just to make sure everything is nice. And then once we start, the eggs start cooking, we will just slowly keep turning it. All right, so as you can see, you can see how the corn, like the edge of it is getting cooked. So all you do is you just take it, just move it a little, like so. And that's it. You just go like this. And it will cook. And you see how the eggs aren't sticking? Because that is that's because of the butter, which is good. No one likes when eggs stick. I don't. But that's it. Look at that. Now, you could flip these over. You could... I usually just chop them up. Like so. And then kind of just move them around. I'm not putting these on toast. I'm not putting these on like a any kind of biscuit or anything. I'm just eating these like this. So I like to just break it up a little bit. And you can even do, you know, you could add onion and pepper to this. You can add tomatoes, spinach. Um, you can add anything to this, true, really. It all depends on how you like your eggs. Uh, when I make eggs, sometimes I make uh, biscuits and then I make like a little egg sandwich. If I had bacon, uh, I'd make some bacon and biscuits to add to the sandwich. But this, I'm just making plain old eggs. But that's it. They're done. If you, like I said, if you like them like uh, a, little, a little brown, I'd keep cooking them, but no, these are perfect for me. And then we just turn off the heat. And then let's plate it up. All right, so here are the eggs. Oh, look how steamy they are. So let's try them. We just season them in salt and pepper. That's it, that's all eggs really need. Mm. Mm. This is so good. They're fluffy, they're delicious, they're seasoned well. I can't complain. This would, like I said, this would be great on a nice biscuit. This could be great on toast. This could be great on with bacon or sausage. Truly, truly delicious. But that's it. That wraps up this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to be the best you can be. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!